Hey, it's been a while. Welcome back to Art Block, the show where we talk about various creative mediums and maybe even learn something new. Today on the Chopping Block are some tips and tricks of improving your skills when it comes to drawing anatomy. So the first question is, what even is anatomy? Anatomy is basically the general shape as well as the placement of any limbs, organs, bone structure, etc. You'll generally hear anatomy being referred to when people are talking about drawing humans, however anatomy can be used to refer to anything that might have a specific shape or structure. So how does one improve their skills with drawing anatomy? Well, you're going to hear me say it time and time again, but the most important thing to know when you're learning how to illustrate is how to practice frequently. I personally try to draw at least once a day, however if you can't draw daily, then at least try to draw on a semi-regular basis. You'll see a substantial improvement over time. If you study and draw from life, you'll tend to notice that you'll start to understand how the anatomy functions in certain poses. Another tip I would recommend is to look into using references. Now when I say references, I don't mean tracing over another person's picture, I mean finding helpful pictures to look at while you draw. Google is absolutely loaded with reference pictures, and some of them even include links to tutorials and draw-alongs. I would also recommend looking into studying the way that bone and muscular structures work for whatever you're drawing. This applies especially when it comes to drawing humans, since males and females have different skeletal structures which in turn change the way their body is shaped. One of the more pivotal skills you're going to need when it comes to drawing anatomy is construction lines. Construction lines are basic shapes and lines that an artist will use to get the general shape of whatever they're drawing, and it also helps them get the roughs of the pose figured out. Generally, if you're doing construction lines digitally, you should be able to do it on a separate layer from your line art. If you're doing it on paper, you're going to want to make the lines as light as possible so you can erase them more easily. Picking a couple of 2H or 4H pencils up from the store are really good for this, since they don't leave as dark of a mark on the paper as your standard HB pencil. As an example of how to utilize construction lines, I chose some real life examples to use in order to show you where the construction lines would go and how the body is structured by using construction shapes. Speaking from personal experience, I would recommend starting with drawing the head. Using the construction lines, you'll tend to see a bit more depth in the picture than you normally would. If you're like me and you're better at drawing animals over people, I found it fun to draw in the anthropomorphized animal style. Drawing anthropomorphized characters can help you get a general feel of human anatomy, as well as being able to throw in some of your own stylistic flair. If you practice drawing the same thing a few times over, you'll start to notice changes from when you first started out. And that's about it for today's episode. If you liked what you saw and want to see more, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive notifications for weekly episodes of Artblog. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter and DeviantArt where I post artwork and interact with you guys outside of the show. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.